So I couldn't think of a better place to show you guys my, my 2020 setup than Dark Horse Outfitters. I want to give a big thank you to these guys. I'm not sponsored by them. I don't work for them. They're just a company that had the products that I need and that's why I chose to go with them. And let's show you the setup. <laughs> DXT just because I like I personally like the dual trip on it. Um, I feel like it does a lot less damage to the frame. Uh, I know the D or the XTs are really popular, where just the whole uh, plow trips. But I like having the bottom edge trip as well as the whole plow trip. Just to me, it feels like a little bit less stress on the frame and the truck. And I know these are built really really heavy duty, but just personally, that's why I went with that. Um, of course, we got one of my favorites, the Snow Power back here. Started off with the Ebeling. I just really wanted a snow power. This thing just kicks ass. I'll tell you that. Ebeling is still uh, a really handy plow. It still does the same job. I love not having to do any shear pins, anything like that. So that's why we got the snow power. Let's look on the inside and show you guys how Dark Horse set up the inside. I want to show you guys one thing. So I had the truck plow thing right here. That's just for the, the boss plow lights in the front. That switches over. Controller right here. Uh, a lot of you guys use the, that have the snow powers, they use the a uh, wireless controller. I don't, I, I use it just for certain things. I wanted a wired connection and this is c technically an emergency controller, but I like having a wired connection where this can fail sometimes being a longer truck and it doesn't receive the signal all the way back. The really cool thing that they did is this is actually like a phone holder. It's called a cup phone holder or something like that. Um, they pretty much wired that or secured it onto this so I can put it in any cup holder that I need. I can move the slide over, put a cup holders in here, but just a really neat idea that they do for their customers if you want a wired connection, which I highly prefer. And then really new to this season, I uh, sold the ATV, got a Snow Raider. I really wanted to try this thing out. I think the second year this machine being out, I know it's been around out, out for a while, but the second year being out, our dealer has more access to them and there's parts available and just things are available for them. They're super popular down here in Montana. I've seen just a bunch the first few, uh, day or two we've been uh, plowing snow so uh, I'm excited to try this thing out it's actually a, a blast to use um, it's not perfect it's not a perfect machine but it really really does a great job I'm really sorry if it's, the camera's kind of shaky I'm kind of shaking my hand it's uh, currently 10 degrees out it was like negative 10 last night and uh, that's not even the wind chill we had some 45 mile per hour wind so I'm, it's a little chilly out so sorry if there's some shake but super excited about this so how did I get this in the back of my truck I used a Marlon side-by-side -side deck ramp comes apart in about 36 bolts. I basically took the two ramps off the sides of the side-by-side -side deck, put them together. I used some uh, aluminum framing that where the holes, uh, factory holes met up. I just used those and those go kind of, those that goes to go back. Used some blocks of wood down there. Um, by far not the, not the safest thing. Right now I have it strapped down with some just ties that are kind of holding down. Um, as well as a center uh, max strap across the back because when you're loading the bonds to the back, the back's going to want to come up because it sticks out kind of kind of far, but it worked out really nice that it only sticks out. I mean, the plow sticks out just a little bit further than it, and then when the plow's down, it really doesn't stick out much at all. So lengthwise, it was great. Cleared the box, cleared the height. Had to be about eight inches tall to get off the ground. And one thing I do need to add is I need to get a support. This does um, bend just a little bit. Just a, just a touch, I can tell. It should be fine to work, but I would just want some extra structural stability, so uh, I'm probably going to run a, a support frame, a support piece somewhere to help support just the weight when it comes off the end, so. But it should be fine. The Snow Raider only weighs about 850 to 900 pounds, and then with other stuff on it, probably 1,000 pounds, so. Of course, out of the, uh, the gas can in the back, that helped out a freaking ton. Uh, this only has a 1.6 gallon tank, so having the extra fuel is a necessary piece of equipment to have on you. Helps to have it in the back so you don't have to go to your truck and pick all that stuff up. And uh, I was going to go for a deck, but I, I like how this is just this little bit of difference down here from from here to here. It's a, it's a, it's a big difference in ramp um, direction, so it comes with 10 foot ramps, which are here. And just that little bit of extra uh, lowering helps the, the ramps not have such an aggressive angle uh, when, I'm, when I'm loading and unloading. Still trying to get used to that. 
but overall I think it worked out pretty well. This isn't my final, uh, this isn't the final uh, frame for the bottom. Right now it's just sitting on some blocks of wood which I can show you uh, when I get this all off and stuff, but uh, it's, it's, so far it's working. I had to add some expanded metal, whatever you guys call it, to the ramps. Help, really helps with traction and that kind of thing and I hope everything goes smoothly. Uh, the first plow so far we had an eight inch day. Truck worked fantastic. Snow Raider was a blast. I gotta fix the ramps. By no means is it a perfect setup. Uh, just kind of my idea and the long process of what I wanted to do. I would have put my ATV back here, but at the time I just didn't really think about this whole thing until it happened. And the, the Snow Raider being able to turn like a skid steer is just freaking awesome. Um, I wish it started a little easier, but it's got a Honda, so it should be fine. And if you guys need anything, if you guys want the same setup, anything like this, hit these guys up. They're freaking awesome. I'm not sponsored by them. They don't pay me. I just, they're a great company in Bozeman, Montana. They help me out. They, they get any, every product, every, any product that I need. They can outfit it on my truck. I can do it myself. If you just need a part, they can order the part for you, get it to you. If you are in a different location, they can get that plow or something to you. No problem. They got boss plows, snow powers, snow raiders, anything you guys need for snow season, they can handle it. If you guys need toppers, they're a huge topper uh, company. I think Snug Top is one of their they're big ones, but they sell a bunch of toppers here. Lastly, what do you guys think about these cage plows? Can you guys use them? Uh, talked around a little bit. I know the cage plows are really popular, and then Arctic plows are really popular too. Um, the only thing I wish these had, I know they can back drag. I wish they had like a, a different kind of back drag system, but I know there's uh, metal plus, Arctic snow plows, and cage plows are kind of the top three. If you guys know of any other ones, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.